We go to Newton High School for this huge Colonial Division clash, and Newton jumps out to the 2-0 lead. Watch J.J. McDaniel scoop up yeah, the loose sure ball. Does. He gets it to Andrew Cooney, and he draws the foul. He eventually misses the free throw, and Newton has the two-point lead. In a low-scoring first quarter, Newton takes a 9-5 lead after the period. Watch Samir Wheeler find Jason Heater, who pops the jumper, and Newton's up by four. Second quarter we go, and it's Chris Marcinic with the three for a pack on to cut Newton's lead to one, 9-8 early in the quarter. Oh, but very, Newton extends its lead to four here. Watch Andrew Cooney get it to Aiden Black yeah, as he was. finishes with a nice up and under move, and the Braves are up 13-9. Then watch freshman Chase Kramer of Newton step into the 17-foot jumper, and he knocks it down, and the Braves have a 17-9 advantage and an 18-10 lead at the break. Well, Pacon comes out firing in the third quarter. Watch Toby Olabanga with a nice save and a great skip pass to Jonathan Yanko, who buries the three, and Opacon trails by five, 18-13. Opacon keeps pecking away at its deficit. Watch Chris Marcinick take the kick and bury the tray, but they trail by four, 20-16 to Newton. Andrew Cooney gives Newton a 22-18 lead here. Watch him make the steal and then convert the nice spin move, and the Braves are up by four. But Opacon makes it a one-point game here. Watch Chris Marcinick with the look to Jonathan Yanko, who knocks down the tray, and the Chiefs trail 22-21. Then watch John McCluskey of Opacon off the miss, rattle in the fadeaway jumper, and Opacon has a 24-22 lead as the Chiefs will go up by four, 26-22 after three quarters of play after a 15-4 run. All right, the fourth quarter we go and watch Samir Wheeler of Newton get the little runner to go, and he's fouled, and Newton trails by one, 26-25. Then it's Wheeler with the long three for the Braves, and they retake the lead 28-26 over the Chiefs. Well, Pacon has an answer right here, and it's Chris Marcinick with the wing tray, and it's good, and we have a one-point game, 30-29 Newton. Well, Pacon then retakes the lead here. Watch Anton Pisano back in, and he goes and finishes with the left, and it's 33-31 Chiefs in this nail biter. Then you have to foul. You okay, we have less than first. 20 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. And watch J.J. McDaniel, Newton with the steal and the basket. And Newton has a 35-34 lead with 11 seconds left. What a play by McDaniel. All right, 11 seconds is a ton of time in basketball. Watch Chris Marcinick with the drive. But Toby Olabang is there for the putback. And he'll pack on stuns Newton 36-35 to clinch at least a share of the Colonial Division with his big one-point victory on the road here at Newton High School. It was a huge win. I mean, you know, it wasn't the biggest offense game, more of a defense game all, all the way through. But I mean, you know, we've been working hard all season. You know, I'm just happy we were able to do it, come out here and get a big one tonight. That's amazing. Funnest game of my career so far. Hopefully we can keep finishing off with Walk Hill. We knew coming in here that it was going to be a little more different than the first game we played them. And, uh, you know, it's never easy to come here and play this, in this gym. It's a little smaller gym than most gyms. Uh, and, they, and they play very well at home, and Dirk does a great job of coaching them. Uh, I'm just proud of my guys because uh, we, we had no expectations coming into the year. And uh, they came together as a, as a unit, as a group. Um, and uh, we got to this game. And uh, now we found a way to win this game. So I couldn't be more proud of them. Alpacon's motto has been find a way to win, and tonight was a perfect example. They were down eight and a half, but found a way to come back in the second half and pull out the victory. We knew, like, even no matter how many points we were down, you know, we were still in the game. You know, we had to come back. You know, Toby had a big shot at the end. I mean, can get, can, can't give him and Chris enough credit just to get, get a chance you know, to get, get a shot at the end to win the game. I think I said it to you before in the air. Our model this year has been find a way. Um, we knew being down eight points uh, at halftime. We only gave up 18 points, okay? So we knew we were struggling offensively, but uh, defensively knew we were still in the game. And we told them that the first four minutes of the half were going to be indic in an indication whether or not we're going to stay in the game or they're going to extend the lead. And sure enough, we came out. We did some nice things. Uh, we, got, we, we, we took the lead. Uh, and then we knew the stretch was going to be back and forth. You know, both teams are both teams are very equal, you know, talent-wise, things like that. So. Well, Pacquiao was down by one with 11 seconds to go. Chris Marcinic brings it up court. Newton collapses on him. He misses a shot, but guess who? It's Toby Olabanga with his second game-winning shot this year. I just wanted to set a screen for him and maybe get open. I was really hoping that he'd hit that layup, but I just followed him just in case, and it worked out. We had the timeout. Uh, we had 14 seconds. That's lifetime, a long time. So we, we wanted to get the ball up to half court. We wanted Mars, Chris on the left side of the floor because he's lefty and it's his power side. So when he gets to the left side of the floor, we wanted a screen on the ball and we wanted a guy on the back side attacking as he's attacking the rim. 
And sure enough, he goes to the rim. Toby's on the other side. No time, we win the game. Newt was really trying to shut down John McCluskey, the top scorer for a pack on, and Toby Olubanga. And Jonathan Yanko stepped up and did a great job for the Chiefs. You know, taking away Toby and John, you know, two of our better offensive players. So, you know, when I got to caught the ball, I was looking to be aggressive, you know, score some points, you know, since their offensive production was obviously going to be down. So, you know, just trying, just trying to do whatever I could for my team. In order for you to win games, um, yes, McCluskey is our leading scorer. Uh, Toby has done a great job for us. The last game we played Newton, I think, I think Toby might have led the team in scoring that game. That's why I think Dirk did what he did. Um, but again, the other guys, as the game went on, found a way. Uh, we had open looks at the basket. We had a lot of open looks that didn't fall. Um, you know, if we had some opportunities in the first and second half, the game might have been even a little different as far as the, 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 the amount of the, you know, difference in the lead. But, uh, uh, but right now, you know what? Everybody contributed tonight. Everybody contributed in one way or another, and I'm really happy for them. With this victory, they clinch at least a share of the Colonial Division title. They still have a game with Wolk Hill left. It'll be their first championship for a pack on since Matt Tobin's days four years ago. It's great. I mean, no one, no one knew, thought we were going to be here you know, at this point this season. I mean, it's just great. I mean, you know, we're not done yet. I mean, we have the big game against Wall Hill, and you know, we have you know states coming up in a couple of weeks. You know, it's not over yet. The last three years, uh, you know, a match a senior at ESU this year, and uh, you know, the last three years, you know, we've been trying to get back into these type of games, and we haven't been successful. Uh, and uh, this year, like I said, coming in, we had no expectations. And, uh, you know, the guys, uh, you know, they found a way. They found a way to come together. Uh, defensively, they've done a great job. I mean, uh, we, I think it's five straight games now. Teams have got to 40 points on us. So we mix it up defensively. Offensively, we're just trying to find a way to put the ball in the basket. And uh, as far as another title is concerned, I mean, now we still have business to take care of. we got to go to Walk Hill. If we can find a way to go Walk Hill and beat Walk Hill, then we're outright champs. Uh, if, if we slip up a little bit, then the worst we would be is co-champs. But uh, right now, I think they're focused. I think we go there and try to find a way to win.